I have been leading a life of fasting desserts for 20 years. And now, for the first time in my life, I am going on a grand tour in search of some of the finest desserts in the world. Nothing stirs the imagination more than the cupcake. We are familiar with them. We understand them. Since the birth of the cupcake, everything is new. But the baker of this cupcake was angry. Very angry. The green frosting represents envy and disappointment. But we turn the cupcake and we see a black dot. That black dot represents a way out. A way out. And when you taste it, you are left very angry and disappointed. The chocolate covered pretzel. Solitary. Lonely. Mysterious. The baker of this pretzel was a very lonely man. Notice the covering. It is rough. It is crunchy. It has mold all over it. This chocolate covered pretzel will definitely remain solitary and lonely. These eclairs tell us a story. A story of a life. A life that is stormy. The dark, hard frosting tells us of sadness and distress. But once you look very closely, you see beyond to a greater story, a story of softness and flowers and birds and beauty. And it tells us that alongside the storms, that life is full of beauty. And once you taste them, you spit it out. This a terrible, terrible class. Oh, terrible. And now we come to the finest specimen in all of my tour. This masterpiece is superb. The baker of this dessert, she was a great genius. Just look. At a glance, we can see that it was made with the finest ingredients. The texture is so smooth with a creamy middle and a toasty top. After tasting this, let me taste it. It is wonderful. It is, it is, like I said, it is superb. It is superb. And it will compel you to sing. Ah, yes, I want to sing. I think I should sing. My bunt cake, my bunt cake. Creamy, creamy French. French baked bunt cake. Oh, my bunt cake. My bunt, everybody sing. My bunt cake, my bunt cake. Oh, I love the creamy, creamy, creamy French bunt cake. Oh, 